Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. Long range shot up top. A miss there from Luke. And Watson Jr. Transition. Laid it up and in for our first points. That's Maurice Watson off a made basket. Gets up court so quickly. Just zips up the floor. Handsome jump hook. Now the right low block is pure. And they, the reason why Summer was open, he's such a good passer. They were looking at Reynolds to get the ball. One on one coverage. Straight to the glass. Step in for Milliken and the roll. A three ball for James Milliken, the fifth year since, and with no other dark jerseys nearby. Easy defensive glass. Look at how quick he is. Sets up the shot. Back iron miss. Long range for Zierden. Hits a three ball for Creighton. Or played by Zier didn't have anything. Hanson post up conversion over Reynolds. Timeout, Musketeers. For Xavier, so is far as first jumper from 15 a miss. Milliken out muscles the sophomore Mercura. And here comes Milliken for three. Bingo. Dave the key. One iron miss. And Xavier just ice cold. Two of 12 to begin the game for the field. Zier, step back. Three ball. Another one. Drayton is on a roll from long range. Timeout, Chris Mack. And Xavier is getting pounded right now. Putting Xavier to one and done on the defensive glass. Xavier's not getting those offensive boards. That's a key. For great Watson Jr. up top for two. Back to the kick up. Up for two. There was Garden Zier trying to take away that three point jump shot. Two man game. Hanson, Watson Jr. to the basket for two. Had a nice chat with Mark. Lightning quick, I mean just so speedy. Oh, the knee looks pretty good right now. Shimon Kohoff. Stay up. Tend to shoot for Morell Jr. Here's Watson up top. 17,000 will help him out. Countdown at four. Up top, Watson Jr. short. Russell, a rebound. Zierden, long range three, Isaiah Zierden. A bomb from deep. A half from the field. This just been a disastrous start to the second for the fifth ranked team in the country. Milliken is what Davis counted. The end one for James Milliken. He is going straight to the basket. Dribble penetration. Smart move going into the defense and continues to get to the free throw line. We talked about free throws being an it. Zierden's got three triples. Watson Jr. lined up a three ball. You bet! He's got him. He's been doing it too often this whole game, and specifically in the second half, the first four minutes. Watson Jr. goes right by far. He's just too quick. He's 5'10. Far is a foot taller. It didn't matter. He's always models game after 76ers legend A.I. Allen Iverson. Who'd be proud of that move right there? And getting the shot clock earlier. Far. Too far out of the basket that time for Sell. Defensive rebound. Watson Jr. and Creighton trying to get things going. Zero. Far out of three. Watson Jr. Nice through traffic. Close on him. He's got 19 points to lead all scorers tonight. Once again, that went in.
Wade Xavier's playing from the perimeter. Quinnell to finish. Cell just will not initiate too much contact there because of the three fouls. There's good physical now, a technical call on James Farr. The inbounds play. Farr said something. And he's been teed up. Chris Mack had a bench warning, and now they're going to call. I think they're going to probably call a double technical. And you'll see right here, Farr and Huff fighting on the low block, and then Farr pushes him away, and they're going at it. And Watson Jr. jumps in a little bit. And there the calls, and there the double tap. And some good ball fakes can get you open shots. And look at, I mean, Reynolds is 6'10". He's a foot taller. Then Watson Jr., good footwork by the big fella. Watson Jr. with the left. What a finish for the Jimmers. Watson Jr. up top. For three. He's got 26, one shot of his career best. Reynolds will take the three. It's short, no good, and the Jays finally get the rebound. Up by seven, 444 left. Watson into the front court. Watson, Searden, bounce pass, up, corner, three, boom! 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 Cole Huff, five points, straight three pointer, chased by Cam! Their athleticism on the 1 3 1. Too much dribbling on the perimeter. Searden, pump fake. Watson Jr. thought about a three. Goes through traffic off the glass! What a move for Watson Jr. He's now got 27 to tie his career high. Three, in and out, no good, and the Jays box out and get the board. 2.28 to go. Watson, into the front court. Watson, between defenders. Watson takes it up strong and lays it in! Watson with 29, 64 to 53. Sumner reverses out. Up top, taken away by Watson. Here comes Mo. Mo down the floor. He lays it up and scores. With two minutes to go, it's a 13 point game. Philadelphia Freedom is sending the Jays home. Holy cow! Listen to this crowd. My goodness. Maurice Watson has gone psycho. He's got 31, and he's making every field goal right now. What a steal. Xavier will not foul. Basically conceding this game. And what a big upset for the Creighton Blue Jays. Three and 28, all time against top five teams. Two of those three wins have come in Omaha. That's all time in their program history. Tyler Clement comes in the game late. Watson Jr. gets the big round of applause. For the first time since January 29th of 1970, against then number five New Mexico State, Creighton has beaten the fifth ranked team in the nation as they upset number five Xavier 70-56 season making win for the Blue Jays tonight in Omaha